really are becoming one international church. And this choir is a beautiful, beautiful example of that this morning. It's people from all four congregations are singing in this choir and singing so beautifully together. I'm going to ask uh, our other three pastors to come and to take these chairs if they would please. Uh, if uh, Pastor Etheridge, David Etheridge, Pastor Sockwell, and Pastor Kamali Sinisi, if you would come and take your seats here. Uh, it is my joy and my privilege to work with these three men. Uh, they have become true brothers to me uh, in the Lord and in ministry here at Gaston Oaks International Church. And I thank God for each of them. And we're going to do something today that is a little bit unique. We're going to all preach the exact same sermon in four different languages. Now, they have agreed to preach exactly the same sermon that I preach. Now, those of you that speak English and Korean or English and Swahili or English and Spanish, I want you to tell me if they have if they really do what they agree to do, I told them that if we'll all do this, we'll set a world record for the shortest sermon ever preached by four different preachers. <laughs> Today we celebrate our freedom. And we celebrate this land of America. This land that has given us the opportunity for enjoying our freedom. These words are inscribed on the Statue of Liberty. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. These words welcome people as they arrive on the east coast of this land. And on the west coast, the Golden Gate Bridge welcomes people who come from across the Pacific Ocean. So the golden door and the Golden Gate are symbols of freedom and welcome. People who come to this land in the right way are welcome here. The Korean people are welcome here. The people from the nations of Africa are welcome in America. The people from the nations to our south are welcome here. We are all welcome in America. On this day, July the 4th, 2010, we celebrate what began on July the 4th, 1776, an experiment in freedom, welcoming those who were coming then and who are coming now to this land of new beginning. As fellow believers in Jesus Christ, we celebrate our faith in our Savior, who came to this world that we might be set free. Free from sin, free from fear, free from political oppression, 